All right, what's going on, y'all? Uh, Aaron, back again. This is the, you know, it's been, been a while, obviously, once again. You know, on, honestly, I've been, just been working a lot, and, you know, not a lot of things have been going on, and if they have, I just haven't made a video. So, definitely sorry about that, but, you know, I kind of just do this for fun. And I'm sorry if y'all, if y'all actually watch, it's sorry about that, but I'll try to be getting better as soon as football season starts up. But, speaking of football season, uh... At least for the SEC, it will not start till September 26th, and I'm sure y'all saw this yesterday. Uh, the SEC is moving to a 10-game conference-only schedule for football this year um, due to COVID and all the restrictions going on and trying to limit the stuff. But I haven't read this article from ESPN yet, um, so I'm just going to kind of go through that. Hopefully it's not super long, but uh, yeah, it's a, it's a big deal, big deal for football. Uh, in terms of the NFL... I don't know yet, but we'll see on that. There's no preseason. I could have done the video on that, honestly. But, uh, yeah, SEC. Now I got my Tennessee shirt on, obviously, go Vols. Uh, it was casual Friday at work today, so I was like, yeah, why not? Perfect time to make the video, you know? So, um, yeah, uh, this is by Heather Heather Denish, Denish uh, however you say her name. Uh, presidents and chancellors on Thursday approved a 10-game conference only schedule for the fall beginning September 26th. That's almost two months away instead of just a month away. A revised schedule was altered because of the impact of the coronavirus increases by two of the US SEC's usual conference slate of eight league games. So that's a big difference to the eight league. It's going to go to 10 now. Why is this thing popping up? I really hope. Okay, thank you. Uh, which includes six divisional foes, one permanent cross foe, and one rotating cross divisional foe. Which is that's how it usually goes, right? Uh, let's see. Uh, Florida AD Scott Strickland confirmed SC will keep its division format and the eight teams that are currently scheduled, and still determining the other two teams. So that's pretty good. Uh, one proposal heavily discussed is to add each school's cross divisional rotating opponents for the 2021 and 2022 seasons. That would be interesting. Uh, another proposal being considered would be for the league to devise a ranking system based on strength of schedule and add the two additional league games based on that symptom or system. Any plan must be approved by ADs, and the full schedule will be announced at a later date, which I, I can't wait for that. That'll be awesome. Uh, here's a big key thing. The SEC title game will be scheduled for December 19th, two weeks later than planned because it's usually the first Saturday, or I think it's usually the first Saturday in um, December in Atlanta. Uh, schedule includes one open date for each school in the middle of the season, as well as an open date on December 12th for all teams. That's that's pretty that's pretty good. It's perfect right there. Um, SEC made the changes to allow maximum flexibility in making any necessary scheduling adjustments while reacting to the developments around the pandemic and continued advice from medical experts, which is uh, reasonable. You know, they the SEC's done a good job. They were kind of late on the whole. Like, they wanted to get the facts in. Like, I know the Pac-12, I think, was the first major conference. Or, no, the Big Ten was the first major conference to go to a conference only. Then the ACC and then the Pac-12 was talking about, I think, putting it at a later date. And then the SEC actually went forward and uh, did that, finally. Um, let's see. The shift to late December will allow schools to reintegrate their student bodies on campus uh, amid the new challenges presented by Presented by the pandemic, according to Greg Sankey, and he's done a pretty good job, in my opinion. Um, consistent with the goals. I uh, won't read all of that. I'm trying to not go out too far. SEC became the fourth fi Power Five conference this month to alter its schedule, joining the Big Ten, Pac-12, and ACC, as said. Uh, Big Ten and Pac-12 would play conference only. Pac-12 is expected to announce its details of its plan on Friday. So the SEC came out with it. They waited later, but they came out with the full details. So this must have been going for a while. And the ACC oh, included Notre Dame. That's a big deal because Notre Dame's independent, one of the bigger schools in the country. So that would have been weird if they wouldn't have been able to play anyone. So that's a good good idea on that one. Uh, cancels the, It'll cancel the traditional regular season rivalry games between the ACC and SEC. Uh, that doesn't include my team, Tennessee. But... Um, Let's see, Sankey said it's regrettable those rivalries won't happen in 2020 because of the measures, because of COVID, essentially, what he's saying. Um, so, yeah, for years, people have been saying that the SEC, oh, they only play eight conference games, blah, blah, blah. And so, as Greg Sankey says right here in this first sentence, people have been clamoring for us to increase 
the number of conference games. So I thought perhaps that would be a great celebration at that reality, right? Yeah, that's what he told Paul Feinbaum. Um, try not to read the rest of it. It's going to go on and on. Um, doo -doo -doo. Yeah, I really don't want to read all this. It's going to be boring. But yeah, for Tennessee, here's Tennessee. The SC's decision will result in the can cancellation of marquee non-conference matchups. Like LSU, Texas, big game last year. That was fun to watch. And Tennessee, Oklahoma. You know, we played Oklahoma. Um, oh, man, when was the last time we played Oklahoma? Probably, I think we played Baker Mayfield. And I think we lost. Did we lose in double over? I think we lost in, like, overtime or double overtime. I can't remember. For some reason, it's, it's skipping my mind right now, but I can't, can't remember on that. Um, but, yeah, it'll cancel all those games, sadly. That would have been a big test for us. As Tennessee fans know, um, let's see. So that's talking about the Sun Belt. It's really most of this was talking about how the SEC compares to other conferences in terms of like what they're doing with the COVID pandemic going on and how they're just in their schedule. And you know, I like it. I like this the change. It'll be different, obviously, but um, I'm glad that they're making making the right choices to protect the, the athletes. Because coming from an athlete himself, I, I don't play college football. I'm in college, but I don't play college football. Uh, I understand, like, athletes go through a little bit more. And I think at the same time, they also – I think I think they deserve to get paid. That's a topic for another day. Um, but I understand what they're going through. And I'm glad they're at least trying to help it, you know, to appease the fans in a way and then to keep the players safe. I'm glad they're doing that. So, uh, yeah, that's basically it going to be a different year for football for sports in general um especially with the mlb right now they've already canceled i think they've canceled i know the marlins games and they canceled a game today i can't even remember but uh yeah thank y'all for watching and please comment rate subscribe tell me what y'all what do y'all think on this um and god bless afo is out